everybody, it's Oscar Skeptis and I'm once again coming at you with a plush unboxing uh, of something that is very, very dear and special to me. Um, so, yeah, I am so, so, so excited to get into it, but I will give a little bit of backstory first. So, uh, the plush that is in here is one that I've been looking for for a couple of years. Um, it is a, a leopard plush um, that used... Uh, I, I used to be on a website in a, like an outlet section and I remember looking at that leopard plush um, for I don't know how many months um, but there are like I debated getting him so so many times but you know it was just a little bit too expensive at like 35 euros which is not a lot um, or well, just like a little bit more than I wanted to pay for it. Um, so I never ended up getting him. Uh, that was like three years ago. Um, and uh, I, re I regretted it. I wanted to get him, but then, you know, he was gone uh, and there was no finding him anywhere, unfortunately. Because, uh, uh, you know, you could Google him. He, he was a uh, uh, Nico Toy Leopard uh, or Simba Toys Leopard. Uh, it was listed as both, um, and both companies seem to have made uh, a similar looking plush where like, they, have, they have the same pattern, just a different um, label or brand. Um, and <laughs> I, I, I wanted to get one. I wanted to get one so bad because um, I missed out, um, which sucked. Uh, and I've learned from that since now if there's something in outlet that I really want there's nowhere of it not not available anywhere else uh, I'm more inclined to go pick it up um, but <laughs> I never thought I would find it again um, until I post about it on my plush Instagram um, and I saw somebody was selling it for a hundred euro uh, and I was like whoa well, hold up wait a second a hundred euro last time uh, like the retail price was like 35 at most um I, like what happened why <laughs> why is this so expensive all of a sudden and then they explained to me well i, I listed it as much uh because it's rare um and uh, um you know i don't want to throw any shade anybody's way um but there is a lot of uh overpriced um plushies in you know that are they're being sold in the, the plush community um for like ridiculous prices uh like the wwf foxes are a great example of it where um you know you have a scruffy little thing like this um that is really really cute and adorable uh and i'm you know be very happy to buy it but these things they go for uh like a thousand like a thousand euro or like dollars at this point which is crazy they're nowhere near worth as much like hundreds of euros for, for this uh i got this one second hand for like 20 so <laughs> uh, i'm always on the lookout for a good price um but uh, uh i so so you know that that is a big uh problem in the plush community where you know plushies that are rare uh are being sold for crazy amounts of money um, like the WWF Fox is just a um, uh, an example of it. Like there, there's the uh, FAO Schwartz Fox as well. Um, any other examples? But there's there's an extreme amount of overpricing for like you know uh, items that are second hand um, and definitely not uh, shouldn't be uh, you know retail value uh, much less so many times retail value anyway i don't want to get too off track i just think that's kind of dumb um but you know uh <laughs> no shade to anybody who like uh is buying these plushies or uh selling these plushies just i i think it's uh unnecessary uh but you know i also would understand if you have an opportunity like that if you would want to sell a plush for a lot um, and if there is a plush that you really, really, really want to get, I understand why you would pay money for it. But, you know, at the same time, I don't think that's very good for the, um, the community because it's, uh, um, very gatekeepy, uh, and yeah, just not a fan of it. Anyway, this leopard now, uh, I hadn't found it like 
like seen it or found it anywhere else. I uh, just found this one listing for a hundred, um, which I just kind of refused to pay out of principle because that didn't even include shipping and stuff. Um, and you know, shipping or importing something from a different country can get quite expensive, blah, blah, blah. Um, so just on principle, I was like, no, I don't, I don't want to pay that much for a plush that looks like, you know, definitely looks used, definitely looks secondhand. Um, I don't want to pay that much for it, for it, but I do really want a leopard though. I like, ugh. so I started, um, posting about it a little bit more. Uh, and then somebody, um, messaged me asking, is this the, the, the Nico toys one or is this the Hamleys one? Uh, and I'd never heard of Hamleys before. So I said, well, it's the Nico toys one. Um, and then, uh, I started Googling, uh, and I found an eBay listing of a Hamleys leopard um, that looks exactly the same as Nico Toys one, uh, and I and it was it was like twenty pounds. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's him, that's him, right? Um, because if you don't know, this happens a lot um, where uh, you know there's there's one plush um, that is manufactured by the same manufacturer, um, but then uh, there's there's like different brands that have that sell the same plush um just with a different brand a like different tag right so there might be a, a teddy herman rhino uh and i think there was another brand that did the exact same pattern or a hippo or whatever it was um uh, it's just it's, it's the exact same plush it's just a different uh um different label that's on it um so i was like oh my gosh oh my gosh that's him that's it that's the one i really want and it was a good price. It was less than the retail value, which is kind of what I wanted. Um, uh, but there was one problem with it is that uh, it did not ship outside of the UK. Um, and I don't live in the UK. So uh, <laughs> I messaged my one friend in the UK, uh, really desperately like, please, 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 could you please get this plush for me <laughs> and like ship it to me? Oh my gosh. And then they did. Um, so if you're watching this, thank you so much, Albert. Oh my gosh, thank you. Ugh, like, <laughs> this is hype. Oh, I'm so happy. I just, it was so cool. And then my friend was a really, really good sport and he uh, like took fantastic care of this plush um, as, you know, it was, uh, um, you know, I had to wait a little bit before it could be shipped. So uh, he got to meet all the, all of his plushies and they, they are all good friends now. Um, and it's just, gosh, I cannot wait to open him. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is crazy. Um, Cause you know, this is years in the making, years in the making. And I never ever thought that I would get one um, for this good a price too. Cause I was starting to consider, oh, am I gonna have to pay a hundred euro for this? Um, so I'm so glad I, I, I got him for this and I, I think now's about the time to go and open him. Oh goodness, I, oh god, I, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Polyfill fibers, which you can reuse. As a plush maker, I never have too much of that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can see a bit of his fur poking through. Oh my gosh. Well, he looks, he must have been very cozy. Oh, oh, he's real. Oh, he's real. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, this is crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's exactly as I imagined. Oh, goodness. Oh, look at his sweet face. Oh, look at him. Oh my gosh. He's gonna need some TLC because obviously he's a, like, he's a second-hand item. Um, so his, his fur is a little bit... Um, lost a little bit of its softness um and i feel like a lot of uh 
uh, this this like belly fur could look a little bit whiter um so he's gonna get some uh like a nice nice vinegar bath and he's gonna um uh, get a good brushing and i'm just gonna see if there's anything else that he needs but oh he's real and he is like it's a really nice plush like the uh he, he, yes as i suspected he's got little beads in his paw uh does he have any yes in his belly uh but he's very nicely weighted it's very nicely weighted and he's also just just really really well stuffed like not too firm not too soft oh he's the perfect size look at that look at that oh he fits perfectly on here on my lap oh oh goodness oh he's so sweet oh i'm so happy with him i can't believe this is real now oh my gosh <laughs> oh i like i i was kicking myself at least once a month that i didn't buy him when i had the chance so i'm so so glad that i finally do have him now oh he's so welcome in my collection ah oh, he's oh, he's gonna be right at home look at him oh gosh how how wonderful is he oh yes and look he's got the hamley's tag right there which apparently is the world's oldest toy store which i didn't know very cool oh oh my gosh oh what a darling what a darling oh i'm so happy with him <laughs> oh yes oh yes okay i also um i named him nico uh because so he's like he's just it's the same model it's the exact same type as the the nico toy one um but you know because it's it's uh they they put like you know like i said same type same plush just a different tag um <laughs> i i named him nico so he can still be a, a nico toy <laughs> which i thought was kind of clever and nico is just a really cute name he's 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 gonna like look so much better after his bath even but he's just Oh, cute oh my goodness this is like this is the style of plush that i really like that uh, like look at this like the um the the spotting and the markings are uh, like very realistic looking and the fur is like um it's not as soft right now but i i imagine once he's uh, he's gotten his bath he'll be much softer um but it's it's very nice soft um and or like high quality faux fur um, and then they're just a very sweet looking face. So this, it's a nice like mix between um, uh, like realistic and a cutesy. Uh, and I, I, I just, oh, I'm such a big fan of this, this style of plush. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, I am so happy with him. Look at him. <laughs> oh, yes for 20 pounds yeah <laughs> oh hell yeah oh I'm so happy oh he's gonna be so well loved here <laughs> oh oh my goodness <laughs> thank you so much albert oh my gosh this makes me so happy <laughs> oh yes okay um i'm gonna put him in my little booklet also thank you for these gorgeous stickers like they were in the on the bottom of the package so i didn't see them oh but they're so pretty like i these are really high quality gorgeous stickers i love the art style too it's very very beautiful so i'll see if i can fit them in here um let's see it is the 17th of august it's not here we go august 19th. so he did not have his tag um so we don't have to put that one in here so that just means that there is more room for stickers um let's see which one do i want to fit in here i think the cheetah because it's the closest to like the leopard oh this links are so pretty like i almost don't want to put them in I think that will look very cute though. Let's put it there.
Let's put it there. If I can open it. Get the backing off. Concentrate. <laughs> there we go. There we go. What a beautiful sticker. There we go, right there. It's very pretty. Okay, where are we Right there, okay. Now we can put them in. Nico by Hamleys. Adopted on the 17th of August 2024. There we go, cute. Can you know I gotta sketch him? Let me grab him. There he is. Oh, goodness me. He's so perfect, dude. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh. Gosh. Gosh. Let me see, how can I position him so that I can see him and sketch him and <laughs> that, that ought to work, I think, because <laughs> it can still be in frame. <laughs> there we are. It's also just going to be a tiny scribble because we do not have any room here on this page. Oh, I can't believe he's real. I can't believe he's here. Oh, he's exactly like he looks exactly like he does in his, his like promotional pictures, um, which you don't see very often uh, with plushies. Because typically, you'll have like an artistic version, um, that is uh, like a professional version that has been made by a, a plush artist, um, and then the manufactured one looks a little bit different. But not with this one. This one looks the exact same as in the pictures. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, I, I knew that already because I had seen pictures of him. Oh, <laughs> It's just a tiny sketch. You probably can't even see it. It's right there. The sticker is way prettier. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. And now to put his birthday in the calendar. <laughs> Uh, August, August, August. There we go. 17. Nico. 2024. Oh. <laughs> Gosh. Look at him. <laughs> if, I mean, guys, if you ever get the chance to buy this one, do it. <laughs> He's so worth it. Oh, I love him. I love him so much. <laughs> oh, I'm going to end it for, the, for today there. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video all the way to the end. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more art videos every single Friday. Have a great weekend, guys, and keep on sketching. Bye.